Hey Aries, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to your tarot reading. We're going to be going from mid-April to mid-May today, asking tarot what is coming towards Aries. What can you anticipate? If you've never been to my channel before, this channel is completely dedicated to making you feel loved and supported by way of tarot. And um, if you'd like for me to pray for you, say hi in the comment section. That gives me a chance to kind of focus on your energy, represent your energy, and it gives everybody else a chance to pray for you as well. Send you their good juju. All right, what's coming towards Aries, April 2024 to May? All the cards start out upright if they fly in reverse. That's how we read them. What's coming towards Aries, April to May 2024? Already we have uh, the Fool Major Arcana. This is a big message in your life. This is a new journey. So this also comes with a lot of new experiences that you've not had before um, and a little bit of naivety, but in the most delightful sense. Um, if you look at this picture, and of course in tarot, all these illustrations represent something, you'll see that he's looking up and the dog is trying to warn him of this, this little uh, cliff. So this is not necessarily at all bad. This is just a reminder to keep an eye on the details as you go along in this new journey. Again, to um, compound the journey message, we have the two of, um, two of Wands. And this is really exciting energy. This is kind of you asking what if and what's possible. And this is represented by him holding on to this one staff. He's not left the harbor yet. But he's making plans. He's asking those important questions that lead to through the catalyst to your future unfolding. And that is him holding the earth in the other hand, which is representing what all his skills, all his experiences. So you're looking at your life possibly with a bird's eye view and asking what next? We have two cards here we have not turned over. First one is the sun. <laughs> Love it for you. So this is a really cool reading so far. Very, very positive. I love that. And then next we have, I wanna make sure that I grabbed it right, yeah. We have this Knight of Wands, but he's upside down. So that's gonna be an interesting one to unpack. Usually the Knights are messengers, people who are coming forward in your life. This could be a fiery one too. So let's get some clarity on this fool. For our Aries, this new journey, we have the Nine of Swords. Fret not, my dears. Yes, you might be worrying. You might be staying up a little later than you normally do or not being able to fall asleep as easily as you do. Maybe your thoughts are like a hamster in the wheel in the cage, but that is normal because it's a time of change. So we have the King of Swords coming out with the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight, like I said, is a messenger. This is a very slow messenger. And this is coming out with another energy that represents a person in your life. This could be you who is, um, who is in, encompassing this energy, um, or this is somebody in your life who represents this. And what this energy is, is very non-emotional, black and white, looking back at one's experiences in order to gain insight moving forward. There's almost a battle-worn, battle-torn side of this energy. And it's just basically, it's a great energy um, when you need to have, when you need advice, when you need somebody to just tell you like it is, right? So if this is somebody that you are not being right now, you are not, uh, what's the dang word? That you're not channeling, then this is an energy near you who um, is very practical, very logical. And it's coming out with this um, movement forward. And this, this voice is, might be saying like, hey, uh, do you have all the funds you need? Do you have all the security do you, that you need uh, for this new journey? And that might be coming out with the uh, Nine of Swords, the anxiety card, the overthinking card, because you're trying to be practical in this new journey. You're trying to you you know that it falls down to stability. Um, money is going to be, um, and stability is going to be at the heart of your concern moving forward in this journey. And what is beautiful about this is it's very responsible, uh, black and white, informational based energy. So you're being realistic, basically, as you're making these plans. Two of Wands, as you're making these plans going forward, plotting and planning. Five of Wands in reverse, two more, two more fall out, High Priestess. You, you may have been holding back on um, uh, 
uh, communicating with somebody that you maybe you were afraid that uh, it was going to be uh, too much conflict. Uh, maybe you wanted to bring something up. You're going to have to bring up in order to move forward with another individual or a group of individuals. Um, and you are going to be doing just that. I think that somebody could be coming towards you before you get to them. But you've got high priestess energy, meaning you're very tapped into your intuition that's guiding you. Because if you're going to do it, if you're going to move forward into this new chapter, um, you have to do it right. And um, there are some things that just need to be worked out. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening. The Knight of Swords is a very fast moving energy and it's around communication. So this person needs to get something off their chest. Um, and you've and it's in order to move forward. But it turns out very, very positive with the Sun card. You may be leaving something behind that at one point you, you worked very hard. This energy you worked very hard around. Flipping, but yeah, no, it wanted to come out. The Ace of Wands. So this is an opportunity you are not gonna let go by. You are walking towards it. Yeah, you'd rather take faith that there are greener pastures for this abundance. You see abundance. Everything checks out. You're listening to your intuition. You're, you've got a guide here, this guiding voice, this practical voice as well. You are holding on to both, you know, the logical material side of life. And you're also looking at, you're holding on to the perspective of um, intuition. So you've got these two places of wisdom that you're moving forward in. And in the between there, it's guiding you through some communications that need to happen and uh, it's, you're going towards abundance with the empress energy i mean whatever this opportunity is it could be a project a job it could be something passion related but this is what you're leaving your past for this is what you're taking this giant leap of faith and you know i love this so much for you because remember when i said the very first car we turned over and i said just pay attention that he's looking up and the dog's trying to warn him of this cliff that's just a reminder to pay attention to the details what cards do we get in addition to that card we had this dude who does nothing but pay attention to the details he's the number cruncher he's your reality wake up call guy you know so Either you've got that going on in your head, you're embracing that energy, or you've got a guide, you've got somebody who's giving you advice. Um, and then we've got around the Knight of Pentacles, which is about learning something, go slow, take your time, learning something. Could be a skill set for some of you guys, could be going back to school, something to create stability, something around stability here. And yes, it might be causing you guys a little bit of um, anxiety or overthinking, and that's totally natural. Because what you feel is coming around the corner is a huge success, a huge opportunity in abundance. Who's this Knight of Wands? I want more clarity on that. Bear with me, you guys. This is an interesting energy here. And I feel like it's important. Who's this Knight of Wands? Judgment, big deal. What is this Knight of Wands? Okay. Well, I will say, Aries, patience is key because you've got all this change happening. You do have a fiery energy in your reading, which could represent yours or somebody else. They want to move fast. They want, they're ready to work. They're ready to manifest. They are feeling independent and they're feeling um, goal oriented and very confident. But it could be that they could get in their own way. Um, and so there's this energy that's pushing them forward. This, just this pull forward. But it's important to be aware of impulse with this energy. And um, there's a little bit of back and forth, like um, fighting off any kind of doubts. But that's there's some anxiety and some overthinking coming out of this because uh, <laughs> the sun again. <clears throat> this feels a lot like you trying to self-regulate. 
So there's this en energy that wants to move forward with so much confidence, but there is a lot of change, a lot that needs to still unfold. It's like things are too fresh in order to jump the gun. You'd be putting the cart before the horse. And so this confidence is getting kind of pulled back. The reins are coming back on this horse and it doesn't really like it. So it's funny because I'm very aware of how the rider and the horse have to get along and they are one and the same inside of you. So you have both the rider pulling back on the reins um, that is like saying, whoa, 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 we don't know what's around the corner. This is a huge change. There's a lot to unfold here. And then we have the horse's energy, which is, I got the stamina, I got the hard work, I've got the focus, eight of pentacles. I'm gonna, I can make it happen with the manifesting energy of the magician. And this nine of, of pentacles is, I know enough, I've been around enough, I've experienced enough, I'm on my own, I can do this, this very independent energy, and it's around success. But here we've got the whoa, 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 you know, of the reins of the rider. There's huge change. This is, um, this is, uh, big change. The judgment card is resurrection. It's like you're coming into your own in a new way, transforming. And then we have the seven of wands, which is stand by your guns. It's like you are, it feels like you're having um, a debate with yourself. Uh, and so what it, it's causing, right, is that churning water is that seven, that nine of uh, swords. So you might be overthinking, right? The hamster on the wheel. But <clears throat> another nine of wands Ultimately, when you stand back from it, this is going to end very well. This is going in a very beautiful, positive place. Of all the problems you could have, this is a great problem to have. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, nine of Wands is, yeah, like tenacity. You know, even if it wears you out, even if it creates a little bit of um, overthinking or anxiety, it's worth it and you know it and you're standing by your guns, even if it exhausts you, even if you're exhausting yourself. <laughs> But I think in this case, it's like, I think you're just getting excited. I think you're just getting it and I can feel it. And it feels like a tingly agitation. So um, very interesting. So it's, it's when we zoom back and we look at mid-April into mid-May, this is very exciting. You're getting an opportunity. You are ready for it, but there are some things that need to unfold still. So you are navigating it really well on your own with this second voice. And even possibly some of you guys have that that, sub, that king of swords outside of you, who might be a friend or a comrade, somebody, and maybe even in your family, who has a guiding voice that is very opposite of that impulsive one that wants to, is the horse that's pulling against the reins. So I'm going to go on to the extended reading. You're welcome to come with me. The link is in the description box below. And if this is where I leave you, thank you so much. And I hope that this was enlightening and um, I, I enjoyed doing this reading for you. Take good care.